<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Friendly Chief Friday. We love Fridays, right? Oh, it's like my favorite. Do I always say that every week? It's my favorite day of the week. Super duper excited. We have some fun stuff to share with you guys. Um, let's see. I want to show you guys the stamp set that we're going to be playing with this week, this Friday. We have, this is called Hi, Becky. Hello. Hey, you can join us on the live today. Thank you very much. We have the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set. This is what we're going to feature today. And then I have to tell you, there is like a ton of other awesome product that we're going to play with too. So this is like kind of the main focus, well, stamping wise, but then we've got some other awesome. And I'm going to just tease you with that right now. I'm not even going to show you anything more, but we're going to have so much fun playing with all of this beautiful um, seasonal kind of Christmas product that we have right now. So, but this stamp set is awesome. I love, I think it's the cursive and the font and that little swoosh on the end, if you guys can see, on each end of the sentiment. So we have Merry Christmas, uh, let's see, Happiest Holidays, Much Gratitude, Hello Philomena, uh, Sending Love, Cheers is that one right there. And then there are five more and I have to turn these around here. So they kind of are building on, right? Um, so, and a happy new year uh, from our family. I'm like, what does that say? Um, to you and yours, this wondrous season and heartfelt wishes. So maybe you could say Merry Christmas and heartfelt wishes or Merry Christmas and a happy new year. That's a pretty standard one, right? So beautiful, um, like I said, the font I just love. And there's something about that little whoosh on the beginning and end of the sentiment that I really, really love. So beautiful, gorgeous stamp set that we're going to be playing with today. Cannot wait to, I'm like already I want to get to the stamping, but I've got a couple of other things to show you guys or share with you, tell you about before we get to that. So first off, I want to make sure everybody knows, <clears throat> let me grab these cards. Today is the last day to sign up for the Encircled in Warmth class to go. I didn't bring anything over here other than the cards. So if you are interested in getting this class to go, these are the four cards that we make in our class to go. And you guys know we make two of each of these cards every single time we do a class to go. If ever I change it up, I'll let you know, but that is the plan, especially for this class to go. And I have to tell you this, um, it's funny because it also features that peaceful place designer series paper that when I first saw it, it's kind of, it's like gray and white and you know, it's like kind of not like, it's not as Christmassy as I guess I wanted it to be, but it is now that I've played with it, like it, all the soft kind of subtle tones are just gorgeous. So if you're interested, like I said, today is the last day. I'm going to share with you the four cards that you can make. We also use the fun, um, what was that called? The metallic mesh ribbon that was basically from our Halloween suite last year, which is kind of a weird twist on things because it's definitely got... You can give it like a Halloween feel or flair um, with the webbing almost it looks like, but I thought it was beautiful and really kind of complemented and softened up these cards. The other thing that we use that I'm forgetting to mention, I feel like I forget it all the time, is the Encircled in Beauty dies. So I'm going to kind of zoom in so you guys can see the detailed, intricate dies. Um, and they're basically like a beautiful set of dies that can complement any um, stamp or sentiment that you have. So, okay, with that being said, these are the four cards if you have missed them, because I just, I think they are, are beautiful, and you can start, kind of see all of the glittery um, kind of silver accents in there also on the designer series paper. This is a fun one too, warm Christmas wishes, right? And it's almost like the, a doily, you can like make Jenny, hello, hi, thank you for sharing, and I think Philomena did that already too, thank you for sharing the video. Um, this one is when you warm or you warm my heart. So there's that one right there. And then you can see more. So all of, do you guys see just all of the detail in the dies? And then this one, if you, if I get super close, you can see all the intricate detail there and there. And then we've got the let it snow. You see? So we use some of the silver foil paper too. So if you're interested, those are the four cards in the Encircled in Warmth class to go. I will, um, include the link to give you all the details on the video um <clears throat> or excuse me on the class to go i'll include them um, in the details about this facebook live video after i get it posted so thank you philomena um yeah i'm super excited about that but today is the last day so if you're interested let me know um, but at all the class the different options that are available i'll include the link so you guys can get all of that info and make your choice on which class to go you'd like to get this month 
So um, let's see, what do we want to do next? Oh, so I want to make sure everybody knows because they've been doing a really good job with Paper Pumpkin. We've kind of, you know, on and off through the years, people are like, like they, the idea for Paper Pumpkin was it was a surprise. Like every month you, you know, went to your mailbox and there was this cute red Paper Pumpkin box and you never knew what was going to be in there. And some people really appreciated that and other people really kind of wanted to know they wanted to get a sneak peek so they could decide you know because some people only want to make cards some people love the treat packaging you know there's kind of a wide variety of what people are looking for and if you're somebody that only wants to make cards if they have a treat packaging um, paper pumpkin kit maybe you're like i don't want to do that which is fine the fun thing is now we have so many demonstrator excuse me demonstrators posting the lighting got really weird in here huh I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going and hopefully like the lighting changes. I don't know if I've done something to like, there. <laughs> I don't, maybe I just flashed this white piece of paper too close or something. Um, anyway, so many demonstrators are doing an amazing job of posting alternate projects that you can make with the supplies from your paper pumpkin kit. So kind of with that being said, this month is a treat packaging kit and they're so cute they're super duper cute but i'm sure that there will be people that will be posting ideas of other things that you could do maybe cards that you could make with this paper pumpkin kit if you're thinking oh i don't know if i want to do like the treat packaging this month but i have this little flyer and i just have to show you guys because it's called gifts galore paper pumpkin kit and what they're doing now is they're kind of giving you a sneak peek they're not showing you everything in the kit but they're giving you a little snippet so you can see and decide First of all, do I want to sign up and get that paper pumpkin kit? Or if you're like a monthly subscriber, do you want to get that kit? Or you can also just um, skip a month. You just go on to paperpumpkin.com, pull up your subscription, and you can just skip the month if there's one that you're thinking that you're not interested in. Um, the fun thing about this, though, is like I said, okay, let me just show you because I'm going to see if I can get like close up enough. So the gifts galore. <laughs> hey, I've got a, like a text coming in. I'm like, oh, I have to wait for it to swoosh away if I can. There we go. Yeah. So there we go. Can you guys see the super cute little um, snowman right there? And they're kind of showing it almost looks like um, a huge bag to me of um, popcorn that they put in um, the little treat package and then they're showing the candy canes there too so that's one little and then here's another little sneak peek of it too so if you are interested you can sign up for paperpumpkin.com again i will include the link above this facebook live video after um, it's happened again this must be something with my arm when i'm <laughs> when I, I shouldn't raise my arms um after this Facebook Live is done, okay? So, but every month too, just so you know, Paper Pumpkin, as long as you subscribe by the 10th of the month, then you get that month's kit. And it's usually, you get it like, um, usually the next week, because I'm, when did I, I'm trying to think of when I got my Paper Pumpkin kit. Well, I'm having a problem with my mail right now, so that's a whole nother story. <laughs> uh, on a side note though, did you guys know you cannot change like your mailbox, like point, like wherever, it is like you have to go to the post office and get a pre-approval if you want to move it. So I did not know that. So I had um, a mailbox that I never really liked. And for years and years, I'm like, oh, I got to get rid of that thing. I got to get a cute one, right? So I bought a cute one. And then it took me probably another year, hello, Brenda, to actually get it put up on my um, house. So the problem is I got rid of the really ugly one that was down at the bottom of the steps. And I put the super cute one like up on the porch on the steps. So now the mail carrier has to go up steps. And they don't want to have to do it, which I get when you think about like somebody that's like delivering mail, if you can like just walk somewhere and not go up steps, like that's so much easier. So yeah, but I got a, net, a letter from my postmaster saying, you know, we did not agree. You did not ask us. You cannot do that. You have to put it back. And I was like, um, I already got rid of that mailbox. I was so happy to get rid of it that I put it out at the side of the road and I'm sure like it's gone. It's in the trash. I don't even have it anymore. So now I'm not getting my mail. They won't deliver it to me because they, they, he won't make her walk up the steps. So I'm like, okay, now I have to figure out what to do. So anyway, I'm my side note there, but, but my other mailbox is super cute. And I, I'm like, I think I'm just going to keep it there just for decoration. And then I guess I have to figure out something else to actually get my mail. So my whole point of that was, Sign up by, <laughs> by the 10th of the month and you'll get it sometime after the 10th of the month. But I can't even tell you what day because, like I said, my mail was being held for, <laughs> for, so, for so long at the post office. So 
Actually, they threatened me to like send everything back to like return to sender. But I go to the post office so often, the guys that work like the counter were like, we will not send your mail back. So I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> like I'm a good customer. So anyway, <sighs> who knew, right? So don't ever move your mailbox is what I'm telling you guys. Um, okay, so we talked about the to-go class. We talked about paper pumpkin. I think we're ready. Let's do our first drawing, okay? <laughs> it, it is, yes, Philomena, it's very annoying. Although, you know, what do you get in the mail these days? Other than you guys will send me cards and like payments sometimes, which I like to get those, but everything else is usually junk. Other than I get like a newspaper, like our little local newspaper delivered to me like once a week, which I like to get that, so. But anything else, I'm like, oh, whatever, just send it back. I don't want it. <laughs> Bills, too, send those back, right? <laughs> okay, so we are going to draw for the Genial Gems today on Facebook Live. And I use these, you guys, because it's funny, because at first I was like, these feel like really like springy summery, but I used them on a holiday card today. So you will see that they are very versatile, not just for spring and summer projects, but also for your holiday projects, too. So your name is in my basket right here. If you share the Facebook Live video or if you're new to me and have not signed up for my email list and you did that, hi Kay Phipps down in North Carolina. Welcome, I'm glad you can hang out with us today. Okay, so, and thank you for sharing the video. Okay, your name will be in this little basket on our next Facebook Live drawing. And I'll tell you what we're gonna give away next in just a moment, okay. So here we go, the Genial Gems. Who wins the Genial Gems? Let's see, let's see. Okay, they're, they're like, oh, that frustrates me when I can feel like a big pile of them all stuck together. I'm like, I gotta separate them all and shake them up. I feel like, oh, I have to make sure everybody has a fair shot at this. Okay, so I have one in my hand and they are gonna go to Miss Debbie Green, if we can see that. Congratulations, Debbie. You are the winner of the Genial Gems and I will get those sent out to you. Hello, Susan. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, I'm like, where did they go? Where did they go? The, the wonderful gems are what we're gonna give away. So Genial Gems were this week and now we have the wonderful gems. They are kind of similar, isn't that funny? Now I'm like looking at them. Yeah, they're pretty similar, right? In terms of like, Diana, hello, welcome. So these are the ones that we just gave away, the Genial Gems, a little bit different. Although these are, um, I feel like they're super like champagne-y looking. Is that a word, champagne-y? <laughs> it is on my Facebook Live anyway. So thank you for sharing too, Susan. This, um, lots of like kind of little flecks of gold or champagne in there is what I think. And then the beautiful red also. So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live again for sharing the Facebook Live video, which you guys are already doing a very good job of that right now. And I'm um, signing up for my email list, which I still, still tell you, so Facebook Live and email are my number one and two ways of communicating with everybody to let you know what is going on. You will always be updated on what's going on with the Stamp Studio, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and with Stampin' Up if you subscribe to my email list or um, jump on our paper, or excuse me, our Facebook group um, every day, every other day, you know. So, okay, all right, we're scooting those things out of the way. Did I put my names? I did in there for the next drawing. Okay, I'm feeling organized. I'm actually like, yeah, I guess I'm like super, I think I'm like all bouncing off the walls because if you guys can see, I've got my um, Hope shirt on. My sister gave this to me for my birthday and I was super excited um, about this, but Hope uh, College, which is where my son is attending school and actually this is really cool on like another side note um he found out for absolutely positively sure that he is on the hope basketball team um they you know they've kind of been treating like all of the boys that were there and participating in the conditioning and so on as if they were on the team but this was the final like I guess, decision to make sure that everybody that had been participating really has a spot on the team. So we found that out last night. So he's super excited about that. And I am super excited. I'm like, I need to go get like the schedule. I'm like all excited. I like, can't wait. I want to get to as many basketball games as I can because last year we had so few basketball games, right? With COVID and everything. So I'm just like bouncing off the walls to get to go watch basketball, which isn't for a little while, but this weekend is actually 
homecoming and like family weekend down in Holland at Hope College. So this afternoon, my sister and my daughter, Lily, and then my sister's two girls, my nieces, were all gonna head down to Holland for the weekend for homecoming. And then my dad and his wife are gonna come for the football game tomorrow, so it's like a big family weekend, and Cade's already, <laughs> he texted me this morning, he's like, Mom, are we gonna go out for dinner tonight, or should I go eat in the cafeteria? I'm like, oh, buddy, it's, it's good. We'll take you out for dinner tonight. So, you know, college kids, they have enough of that cafeteria food after a while, so. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, I think I'm bouncing off the walls because I'm super excited to get out of town and go to Holland. Such a cute town right on Lake Michigan. Um, and just, well, it's getting a little cold to be like thinking about Lake, but it's still pretty this time of year. Great for a drive too right now. Also with all of like the colors, all the leaves changing and everything. So I'm just excited to see Kate and give him a big hug and congratulations that he's definitely playing basketball. So Okay, um, blah, 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 right, Amy? Okay, I think we are, oh, I wanna show you guys. So we had our team meeting, our Inkspired Stampers team meeting this week on Tuesday. We do that the third Tuesday of every month. I do that on a separate Facebook Live because we have a separate Facebook group just for my team members. Um, but we had um, some beautiful swaps that people created. Hey, Pam, how are you? Thanks for joining us and thank you for sharing. Um, so yeah, people, um, anybody in my downline, we do swapping each month also. So I have to show you guys the beautiful cards that were created this month um, for our swaps. And this first one, I'm going to try to, yep, Jenny, who is, I think, on the Facebook Live right now. Um, Jenny Boffman created this card, and I think it's so pretty. And she used my favorite. This is the Real Red Sheer Ribbon. So easy to work with. I absolutely love that ribbon. And then I think this is some of that Gingerbread and Peppermint Designer Series paper. So, so cute, huh? She just punched out little circles and put them in the form of a wreath. And then it just says Mary on the little tag. So isn't that so cute? And I'm trying to see that paper. Um, I'm not exactly sure. The background paper, I'm thinking... I don't know. Isn't that funny? It might be from that pack of paper that carried over from last year, like all the wood grains and like they went to Home Depot and like took pictures of everything, that paper, whatever that was called, possibly, or maybe it's one of our holiday papers, but a nice kind of wood background on that one, right? So that was beautiful from Jenny. And then this one is great. Friends like you make this season special. And this one, Nancy Gulick made. And this is some of my favorite paper. This is well, this pattern of designer series paper is from, wow, my mind, I guess I'm like not on Stampin' Up! right now because I can't remember any of, this is some of the, I always thought it looked very fall-like. I actually used it on a class to go very recently. Beauty of the Earth, is that the name of the designer series paper? It is in the annual catalog, but it's beautiful. And then this is one of our stamp sets from the holiday catalog. And then she used one of those little gold leaves there too. Beautiful, huh? And then let's see, this one is from Susie Meekumber. And she used that cute little penguin, the the penguin, the penguin, the penguin. <laughs> and then the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper. Love that sweet little guy, right? That one was super cute. And then this one was from Sharon Greening. And it says, I'm here for you. I kind of, um, I, I almost think the orientation is like this, but when she posted it, she posts all of our swaps on our Facebook group. She posted it this way. So I'm not sure, but I guess either way, but it's beautiful, this I'm here for you. And I love all the leaves, all of that beautiful, and kind of the color scheme too is very pretty, isn't it? All the like the deep purples and pinks with the little pop of pink right there on the polished pink ribbon. So super cute. And... I'm not sure what dye that is. I don't know if that is maybe, there's a new suite of products coming out. I'm not sure if Sharon used, I forgot to ask her, but a beautiful leaf dye anyway. I'm sure we could figure it out, um, probably either from the holiday catalog or maybe new. And then this one is a swap from Sunday Ostrander. And I do not remember the name of the stamp set, but I love because he's so, ah. Okay, Jenny's telling me the wood paper. Um, she's drawing a blank too. It is from a Christmas. Okay, the wood paper is from one of the Christmas designer series papers. Well, I'm sure we can figure it out. Yeah. Anyway, there are so many different, it's this, it's my sleeve. That's what, you, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but <laughs> like it makes me look really 
like weird. Um, okay, so yeah, again, this snowman, and isn't that, what does it say? Happy Christmas, and I love how she kind of, if you can see, she tore the paper, if I get really close, can you guys see? So she kind of ripped the paper right here and right here, and so it almost looks snowy, if you guys can kind of see. I used to do that all the time, like ripping the paper. I loved that kind of look and I'd forgotten about it. So it's fun to be reminded about like simple little techniques like that too, but beautiful. And that is, what is that? Oh my gosh, all these designer series papers that I can't even, I don't know, but it's beautiful. That pretty designer series paper down there too. Sunday, when you watch this later, post and tell us what paper that's from too. <laughs> Yes, so beautiful swaps, right? And then the other fun thing I like to do is reward anyone that makes it into what I call the $600 club, meaning if they have sales of more than $600 in a month, they make it into the $600 club. And the reason why I like to highlight that is because as demonstrators, we first of all get a 20% discount on everything that we order. Once you get to $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales, you get your 25% discount on everything you order. Thank you. Um, Brenda is saying this is from the Tidings of Christmas. I believe this is the one. Thank you, Brenda. You guys are awesome. I'm so thankful that you can help me out. And Susie, better late than never, right? I think I was like, is that gonna be the right thing to say? <laughs> but yes, I'm glad you're here. So thank you for joining us. Um, okay, so yeah, so back to, um, so you get 20%. If you're at $1,800 in sales, you get a 25% discount. And then if you have more than $600 in sales in a month, you get an additional, they call it volume rebate, but it's basically like an additional commission on your sales for the month. So I like to reward anybody that is um, that has made it to at least $600 in sales with another little free gift from me, which this month were the matte decorative dots. So anybody that had over $600 in sales is receiving those matte decorative dots also. And Brenda is telling me this is the Snow Wonder. Brenda, thank you so much. This is the Snow Wonder stamp set. And I love, she did a beautiful job coloring too. We actually, I'm going to show you in a sec, we um, use our stamp and blends on the make and takes that we made at our meeting this month. And I forget, I have blends. I don't have a ton of them. Um, now I'm like, I feel like I need more after I played with them. They are just so nice. They color so well, so easily, so richly um, that I thought, oh my gosh, like I just forget. I think, oh, coloring, that takes too much time. But I think the effort and like that whole you know, the whole coloring book craze, I think that kind of came, I don't know if it's still a thing so much now or not, but um, it's just so relaxing to color like that, right? So um, I'm gonna show you guys those now too, because we had, I think I had lots of fun with these. And these are part of the Be Jolly stamp set. So you'll see these images, and I'm gonna try to kind of zoom in close. So again, these are the make and takes that we made. And I don't know if you can see, but we used a Wink of Stella on his little beard there. So we all, all we did was use real red and basic black and a little bit of, I think it was Daffodil Delight. Um, Brenda, you are awesome. She's saying that this, I think she's saying, maybe this one, Christmas to Remember, might be, maybe that one, I think is what she's saying. I'm trying to see because I feel like that's the only die. Thank you. You're my awesome resource center. I appreciate that, Miss Brenda. Yes. So then let me show you the next one. We did this one, a little Mary Hello on this guy. And again, we um, used our Stampin' Blends to color. So rich and beautiful and easy. And then that little birdie, we gave him a little bit of Wink of Stella just to make him sparkly too. And then I love that little die across the bottom also. And then that just opens up like that, right? Then we have... Another, this one with our Christmas tree, another little Mary, hello. And I know you guys can't tell, but we did use Wink of Stella on all the little ornaments. And the star, we add another. <laughs> you have the catalog in front of you. Yeah, that makes it very easy. I have one actually pretty close too, but I tend to like lose my mind when I'm on Facebook Live, so I wouldn't even like know where to look for <laughs> things a lot of times. So thank you, I appreciate your help. Um, and then this is the last one, these cute little Santa Clauses again. And he's like, woohoo, he's having so much fun, right? And he says, be jolly. And again, we just colored him in with the blend. So we didn't do a ton of coloring, um, but just a little bit. And then you, again, I know you can't see, I'm trying to like move it around, but we used the Wink of Stella on his beard and that one also. So fun little make and takes. So if you're ever thinking about getting the starter kit, I would love for you to consider getting it through me or one of my teammates, one of the Inkspire 
Inspired Stampers. We would love to welcome you into our group. You can see we do great swapping each month. I love to reward my team members for working hard getting into, say, the $600 club. I also give um, shopping sprees basically when you get to qualified team member at $900 in sales. When you get to bronze elite at $1,800 in sales, when you get to silver at $3,600 in sales and you have one team member, and then silver elite is the big jump when you get to $7,200 in sales, five team members and one of them is silver. So I love to kind of reward all along those lines as well. And then we do fun swapping. And even if you're not local to me, I will tell you, I think we do a really good job of including our long distance team members we have that separate Facebook group that I told you about. Um, we do posting and sharing on there. We do creative challenges and business challenges. So people are always posting projects, things that they're working on on there also. And then we do our Facebook Lives each month with our meeting on that Facebook group also. So if you're ever thinking about getting that awesome starter kit deal, which it's always an awesome deal, even right now, right? Even without like the extra special, you get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. And then you get a 20% discount on everything you order after that. So it's always a great time to get that starter kit. Always a great time to become an Inkspired Stamper and come be a part of our group and our team. So we'd love to have you. If you're ever interested, please let me know if you have any questions on that, okay? Um, okay, I think we are, I showed all of that. Let's do our next drawing, okay? So if you have not joined me for Facebook Live recently, in a while, ever, just wanna make sure you guys know this is how it works. If you put an online order in of at least $30 and use the host code, I will give to you, it's always in the details above this Facebook Live video, but you automatically get as a thank you from me the two cards that I demonstrated on the last Facebook Live. So these were the cards that we made with those background stamps. People are loving that birch background stamp too. And you know what? It was on sale. It was part of that. Um, the stamp sale that we had earlier this week with the 15% discount. So hopefully if you didn't get the birch stamp or I don't have it yet, you've got it while um, we had it on sale, right? Okay, so again, you get the two cards that I demonstrated on Facebook Live as a thank you from me, right? Um, <laughs> what is she saying? Oh, the pink card might be, oh, from the beautiful leaves. Oh, okay, this one she's saying. She thinks this one is from the beautiful leaves. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, yeah, I feel like that's a good possibility, the beautiful leaves, guys. That looks like a good, yeah, a very good, I, um, yeah, very good possibility that that's where that's from. Thank you again for helping me out with that. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay, so put your $30 order in, you get these two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, right? Your name is also in the drawing right now to win the, yes, this one, the well-defined stamp set, which I cannot wait to play. I think we're gonna have so much fun with these sentiments. I read them last time, but I feel like you guys need to see them again because they're so cute. We've got the, like, these are these are not like um, dictionary <laughs> definitions, I don't think, but they're still super cute. So we've got holiday, a reason to eat more, and then you've got your to and your from, which is funny. I was looking for those the other day. I'm like, oh, those are, those are good because they're a little bit bigger. A lot of times they're so teeny tiny or they're put together and you can't, like, you know when they put a to and a from, like, I don't write that small. Like, I need, like, more room in between them. Thank you, Brenda. I'm glad you enjoy those cards. Um, okay, so we have gratitude. The feeling in my heart when I think about you. Halloween, <laughs> when taking candy from strangers is good and dressing normally is strange. That one's fun, huh? Christmas, the time of year where the presence of family is better than the presence from family. Yes, love that sentiment. And then winter, when it's cold outside but thoughts of you still keep me warm. Love that one too, right? So awesome stamp set that we're gonna give away in just a sec. I just wanna make sure everybody knows that in addition, if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from the free embellishment for, we're in October, yes, which are the rhinestone, the holiday rhinestones, which I promise I'll give you a full pack, but um, we used a bunch of these on the make and takes from our meeting. So this is what I have left to show you right now. I've got them on order, so they'll be here any minute now, but not, not in time for Facebook Live, but you get to pick from the free embellishment or the October 
demo design dream team PDF tutorial, which this month was all 3D projects. And I have to show you guys my box that, um, well, actually I'm gonna say I totally cased it from a friend of mine that made this super cute box um, for us. Not this exact one she didn't make, but I basically pulled her box apart and I should have brought that over, but she made it for us. Um, we got together this spring and did like a crafting, like a girls crafting weekend, just like um, a few of us here at my house. And so she made treats for everybody and she made these super cute boxes. And so I've like been, I've held on to it. And then when they said, okay, we need to do a 3D themed project, I was like, okay, I'm gonna use her box. And then I basically just obviously made it um, look like fall, right? But love that ribbon. This is some of our Harvest, I think Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper, those stitched leaves that I cannot stop playing with. And then I love our sentiment to a dear friend. Right, so beautiful, huh? And I think, I'll show you guys, cause I think this is, I think it looks so professional too. So if you slide the ribbon off, right? So I did that, then it opens up like that, right? And I actually put some um, like scrunchy paper in here and then, um, um, what did I put in here? A cookie, a leaf themed cookie from our cute little, um, sweets and treats shop right here in downtown Alma and it even the colors like the um, the frosting coordinated like perfectly with the colors on that box whoa there now it's <laughs> it's funny like I've got weird lighting in here today as usual once it gets to be like fall and winter it always gets to be weird lighting I think so anyway you can learn exactly how to make that box too if you put an order in of at least fifty dollars all the details on how to make that are right here in my demo design dream team PDF tutorial along with 15 other awesome projects let's see can I even flip you guys can see right we do like there you can kind of see right um, I'll look at all of the detail right too that tells you I think I'm um, now I want to see if my pictures in here also yeah so there's my box and then oh now I have to show you the cookie because I was really proud that it looked so good in there yeah so there's the cookie in the box too <laughs> so fun huh right and okay so we got a couple more pages we can flip through can we do it can we do it anyway you get the idea though right because you can't really see them for real um, you have to put your order in and then you can get all of that goodness for a thank you for your order. Or you can pick the embellishment too, either one. Um, or you know what, honestly, if you put more than one order in a month, you can get the PDF tutorial one time and you can get the embellishments the next time too. So love to have you shop through me. I truly, truly appreciate that. I still, yes, it's a very yummy cookie too, Philomena. I still have to tell you, cause I'm like still like glowing from the huge support that I got for everyone from, year end trying to meet that year end sales goal. I just still can't tell you how thankful and grateful and humbled I was by everyone that kind of heard my call and was able to help me out. So help me out again. I hate to, I'm like, I don't wanna be the boy who cries wolf, but I do truly appreciate each of your online orders. So if you're ever considering putting an order in, you don't have a demonstrator or you have a choice of demonstrators, I'd love for you to pick me as your demonstrator. Um, to put your order in so and if you ever have any problems or questions putting an order in please let me know too um, i've been doing it for a while so i probably know all of the tricks and troubles and if i don't we can talk to stampin up and they can help us help us out so okay so we are going to do our drawing now for that well-defined stamp set okay so names are in the drawing <laughs> i keep seeing your yummy cookie it's making me hungry now philomena i'd love to eat that cookie Actually, I think I still have one in the freezer. I bought a few extra. <laughs> you know, my sweet tooth just makes that happen. So, okay, your name is in here if you put your order in of at least $30 and use the host code. Uh, okay, let's see. We are shaking things around and we have one winner and it is Miss Stacy Decker. All right, congratulations, Stace. I will get the well-defined stamp set sent out to you. Congratulations. Okay, let's get that one out of the way. So now, on our next Facebook Live, we have the super duper cute, this is the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. So fun, I've seen so many cute projects made with this. And actually, um, just a couple weekends ago, the friend of mine that I was saying made that box for me that I used as my 3D tutorial. 
um, she actually hosted like a little get together for us to do crafting. And one of my friends that was there was working with this Nuts About Squirrel stamp set and it was so cute. I was like, okay, I gotta get that and give it away on Facebook Live. Um, so she made some super cute projects with it. And now I wish I had gotten the pictures of what she was working on to see if maybe I can get those from her and I can post them. Uh, but anyway, so fun and some cute sentiments too. So we've got happy birthday and nuts about you. And then there's another one that says, hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. And then, hey there. So those are the sentiments up at the top. And then what's fun is you can color these little guys in, or it's kind of a two-step stamping where you'd stamp that one and then stamp that one on the inside or stamp that one and stamp that one on the inside. And you've got the little, the acorns right there too. So super cute stamp set. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live if you put an online order in and use the host code that I'll give you in just a sec. And you guys know I always have the host code on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and um, it's always in the details above this Facebook Live video too. So, okay, I think one more little thing to show you guys and then we can get to our stamping. It's funny, I have all of these notes out here. I'm like, oh my goodness, I think I brought too many notes. I don't need all of these notes. Okay, so one more little thing to show you guys. These are, you guys know I love making little treats, so I have to show you guys. I did a super, this was so easy to make, this cute little pillow box. I'm gonna show you guys, because basically, when I saw it in the catalog, like so many of you guys, right? When you see something in the catalog, I'm like, oh, I gotta make that. Um, so this was my version of, this is on page eight of our holiday mini catalog. If you can see that little guy right there, Right, so I didn't use the little shapes because they don't have adhesive on the back of them and I can't be, <laughs> that's one of those like, I have no patience for that. So they're super duper cute. I don't even know how they hung them on there, right? Can you guys see those little shapes? Super duper cute how they did that. But I was like, oh, I love, you guys, I know I said this, right? I love this real red sheer ribbon. You're welcome, Philomena. I'm glad you like that. So I put little Hershey Kisses in the side. Um, but you can see how, so this ribbon is super easy. I'm gonna just untie that. Super easy to work with. Like I just love that real red sheer ribbon, right? So then all you do, this is the craft paper that is also, yeah, it's on page nine, the craft paper right here, right, is what I used with the pillow box die right there. And then you can, if you can see, I don't know if I can get zoomed in enough. Which one is it? Yeah, it's that little one. So these little guys right here will kind of make the detail on the top of that flap. So that little guy, you just put right on there after you cut it and it makes that little piece right there. And then I just took another piece of real red cardstock and I just cut the top part of the die with it and then adhered it so then it peeks through those little holes right there. And then you can see we've got little Hershey Kisses inside. So to kind of give you an idea, because they're, they're not so big, which is good if you just want to give like a little treat, I think I could fit like five Hershey Kisses inside there. So they fit perfectly, I think, but isn't that so cute? So I have, I love, I love, love, love making these little treats every month. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. I wish, like, I feel like I just want to like drive around town and like give people treats or cards or something. Cause I, I have so many, um, like ideas and things that I want to make. And then I'm like, what am I going to do with all these things? So I think I just need to like drive around town and give people stuff. <laughs> probably, people are gonna be like, who are you? And why are you giving me stuff? But you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe like for Halloween, that could be kind of fun, right? You could go, I could I could go to the post office and give little treats to my friends at the post office that have been helping me out, right? Go to the bank, um, lots of places, wherever you go, if you go to the dry cleaner, um, if you go get coffee every morning, any of those things, you give little treats to people. So yeah, it's just so fun to make them. So you just gotta like find people to give them to, right? So, okay, so one more quick thing I wanna share. So Kay, I don't know if she is, watching i think a lot of times she's watching later what is she saying she's waiting for those chewy christmas mints oh so you can put oh i think i know what your is it like a little round mint and it kind of looks like a wreath i think i know what you're talking about jenny because i feel like my sister and i i don't know did we have i feel like my mom had some kind of like a macrame wreath that we used to tie those on and then we'd get to eat them off the tree. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of remember that. 
Now I want to look back at like old pictures and see if I can find that. But I think I know, I think I know the mints that you're talking about because that's, those are from the little tree that we used to. <laughs> yes, and they have it. Yes, I'm about positive because they're like white and they have like little red markings around the outside edge and then they probably have a tree, a green tree. I think, yes, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to get some of those. I haven't had those in forever, Jenny. <laughs> when are they? You know what? They're going to be out on November, actually they're probably gonna be out on October 31st. You know how they like clear all the Halloween stuff out and like before it's almost even happened, the nuggets, yes. All right, thank you. I'm glad we're all on the same track. Okay, so if um, if they have them out before our meeting in November, we have to bring them to the meeting, ladies, because Jenny and Susie are both on our, our expired stampers team. So, okay, we're all going to be like chewing on those things. Okay, I got to try to remember that. Okay, that'll be fun. All right, so um, Kay Jacoby, who is one of our new expired stampers, um, she sent me something. Um, it was a payment for something in, I think, for one of the class to goes or maybe make and takes. Anyway, so she um, said, I sent it in a card. <laughs> They're your favorite too, Susie, huh? Yeah, okay, we're going to be really enjoying those. Um, anyway, so she sent, did she even say on the inside? Um, she says, Amy, this card is so old. One of the first um, when she got some Stampin' Up um, stamps and she's too ashamed, she says, to really send it to anyone. <laughs> um, but she knew that I would get a kick out of it and that she used um, these stamps. She's used them kind of on and off, I think, for a while. But I think it's so cute. Um, let's see, what is she saying? I have had a problem with the cat. That <laughs> okay, you got to keep that candy away from the cat then, that's for sure. I don't think that'd be a good idea, Miss Jenny. Um, okay, so anyway, I just have to show you because I think this is a great example of, like she said, she's too ashamed to um, send this card to somebody, but honestly, it makes your day, like, I mean, you you had to spend some time making this card, and you probably had an awful lot of fun making it, and you were probably super proud that when you first made this card, hey, Vina. So I just have to share it with you, because I, I think I remember this stamp set, too, with the pumpkins. Man, that glare is bad, but I love the little boo, right? I love these little pumpkins. And then I think she stamped some more on the inside, too, yes. May your Halloween be full of smiles. I totally remember the stamp set because I remember that cute little spider there too. So, so sweet. And she's got beautiful handwriting too, doesn't she? I love people who can write cursive beautifully like that. Cannot do it. I, I'm like such a chicken scratcher these days. But anyway, I, she's probably going to not be happy with me that I showed this card. But I think she should be very crap proud. It is an awesome card and it made my day to receive it, even though she thinks it wasn't that great of a card. So it's beautiful, Miss Kay. So thank you. Made my day. Um, and then this is another thank you card from another friend of mine, Miss Rose Castellan. And she used, I have to show you because I didn't use this stamp set very much. And now this card makes me like, oh my gosh, I got to pull that stamp set out. And you have that stamp set too, Philomena? Yes, I, I do. I know I remember that one. I don't have it any longer. I tend to not keep a lot of the retired products just because I can't show them to you guys because you can't get them anymore. So, um, but this is one, this was that, um, what was it? Textures and frames, I think. And I love how, so she just stamped in beautiful fall colors, right? She just made this awesome thank you card with that textures and frames stamp set. And so now I'm like, look at how simple that is. Just like she basically made her own designer series paper and then they use, use that fun thank you there also. So Rose, I love that card as well. And she it's always so sweet. She says, dearest Amy, thanks for taking care of all of us and our Stampin' Up needs. Much cont continued success to you as well. Love Rose. So very, very sweet. So thank you, Rose, for that card too. That made my day. Oh, you know, right? Whenever you get a handmade card, that's the other reason, right? Why I want to get my mail is just in case there's a handmade card in there. Okay. I think, woo, man. I chatted for a long time today, you guys. Okay, I'm like checking on my clock. Okay, let's, okay, I'm gonna, let's get the host code. So we have that. I'm gonna get my grid paper ready and we are gonna turn our camera down. Yeah, I'm sure that we're good now, yes. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We are flying through the air to flip the camera down and we're gonna do some stamping now, you guys with that Heartfelt Wishes stamp set. And where is, okay, there it is. Facebook changed some things um, this week, last week, I don't know. Anyway, when I went to do my Facebook Live the other night for a meeting, I couldn't find my thing to flip the camera, but I think we're all good now. So 
Okay, so this is our host code for this month. Make sure you use this if you're gonna order through me, the PBXVDRC9. Okay, so let's see, which one do I wanna show you guys first? I think we're gonna do this one. Love. Okay, so you can see the beautiful designer series paper that we use. This is the Whimsy and Wonder designer series paper. This one has got those beautiful silver accents, right? And then it's hard to tell, but I don't know. Let me see if you can hear it. Can you hear that? Can you hear that when I rub on it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the snowy white velvet paper. That's what I used. So maybe in just the right light, it's almost like it's got a little bit of flocking. I don't know. If I'm really quiet, if I stop talking, you can hear. I don't know. There. Anyway, <laughs> like, can't you hear? Can't you hear like the flocking that I'm rubbing on there? <laughs> so anyway, I was just super excited. And the dyes too, you guys, I, oh, and actually I should say this was also inspired by my friend Jenny who hosted us for the crafting weekend a couple weekends ago because she had a card similar to this and I loved it so much. She um, took a picture and sent it to me because of course I forgot to take pictures. So anyway, I kind of lightly cased this from her card, some of the details here um, using that designer series paper and this color scheme too. I think she used the mint macaron cardstock on the back of her card also. So, okay. All right. So again, Heartfelt Wishes stamp set is our sentiment, the Merry Christmas, right? Okay, let me show you the rest of these things. Okay, we're just gonna kind of get everything out. And that's where I use the Genial Gems. You can see I don't have a lot left on this one, but we used them right there and there. We also use, this is the Simply Elegant trim that comes in the gold and the silver. That's what we used right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my stamps out. Oh, you know what? I need my grid paper too, don't I? Okay, I'm gonna put that. I gotta get this lined up so I know. If I, if I don't move this, then I know I'm in view if I'm on the paper. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me tell you about measurements first. Let's do that, okay. So we have a mint macaron card base okay full sheet of cardstock can we see i think we're okay right okay there we go so along the eight and a half inch side we cut it at four and a quarter inches and then along the 11 inch side we scored it at five and a half inches okay so there's our nice crisp fold on our card then we have some other layers here actually on the inside i put and my favorite love this stamp, this little Christmas tree stamp right here, and then to you and yours we put on the inside. So that piece on the inside measures my very standard four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's like my most used layer of, you know, in terms of layering on the inside especially. So this piece of Whisper White measures three and three quarters by five inches. And then this is our Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. See all that beautiful sparkly silverness? This one measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And then that one is gonna layer. So just a little bit of white peaks out from around there, okay? Then, let's see, I'm gonna scoot those over there so I don't get things mixed up. We just have some scrap pieces. This is just a one inch wide strip of basic white cardstock, some silver foil for this little zigzaggy tinsel piece that we're going to use. This is <laughs> my leftover piece from that last tree that was die cut. This is more of our whimsy and wonder, and I love, isn't that so pretty? Love that designer series paper. You know what is so funny? I think she die cut, I didn't get that. I was trying to figure out, I thought maybe she used like a silver pen, but she actually used, oh my gosh, that tree, oh, that would have been even better now that I'm looking at that. So note to yourselves, if you make this card, instead of, which stamping is pretty, right? But look at how beautiful, because I was wondering, how did she like stamp it off? Because can you see my tree is so much darker than hers? That's what she did, you guys. She just used the dies, which I didn't even quite get that, that you can use this die right here to cut that tree out. It's a little hard to tell, but I think you get the idea, right? Okay, so anyway, we're gonna use this piece to make that tree right there. And then we've got this one that we're gonna stamp our tree. And then here is, 
Can you kind of, I feel like you can kind of see, it's like flocking, velvet, white velvet sheets is what they're called. Yeah, so we're gonna use that on that tree right there. Okay, so let's do our stamping. Then we'll do our die cutting. Actually, we'll do our Merry Christmas too. Okay. So, oh, and on the inside also. Okay, here we go. We're gonna just be super efficient with our stamping here. Okay, so let's do our tree first. This is our mint macaron ink. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, that one looks good. Like I feel like I gotta get my hands back in the stamping. We're gonna do the inside now with my little tree. Oops, I wondered. There's something about, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that particular one. I'm gonna just clean that off. That happened to me on the other one I showed you. So good thing we have two sides of our cardstock. Now <laughs> the test is gonna be, I gotta practice once. You guys can do that, right? Practice. I'm gonna stamp because I'm not even sure which way. There we go. So I never use my labels, so I never know if that's right side up or that's right side up. But that looks pretty good. I'm gonna practice one more time. All right, I'm feeling good to you and yours. This is just kind of a really um, faint little, there we go, to you and yours. And now we're gonna do our Merry Christmas on this strip. And I think um, it's like they're pretty thin. I'll explain what I mean in a sec. I gotta concentrate here, make sure I get my, yeah, okay, that works. And I think I'll be able to cover that up. I'm gonna, yeah, okay. But I guess what I was noticing with this is you have to press pretty firmly because it's, um, you know, it's kind of thin, like the lettering, but then you do tend to get a little ink in places that you don't want it. So just be careful of that, or maybe kind of wipe it off before you ink, but I think, or before you stamp, I think we'll be all right there. Okay. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean these stamps off and get them out of the way right now. Let's do that. I always have to kind of like blot it on there just to make sure, right? That one, and that one, and then one more. And get both ends of that little squiggle. But don't you love that little squiggle on there? I, there's just something about that that, ooh, you know, it makes it look very like calligraphy like, I think. Love that. Okay. Let's see, we are going to do our die cutting now. So we might have to run a couple of times because we have, well, we'll see. Maybe we can fit them all in there. We've got this one. Let me show you the dies too. Okay. So. If you haven't seen, I love the stamp set, the Whimsical Tree stamp set, right? So we used this stamp right here, and then we, oh, I guess from we didn't use any of the sentiments, but I'm gonna show you. I love that little tree right there too, right? And then this one, you can add some little ornaments on that tree if you like, and then you've got sentiments, wishing you Christmas cheer and magical moments that last all year, awesome, right? Let your heart be light. I love that one. May the love of the season warm your home and fill your heart. Oh, those are all great sentiments, right? So then uh, many of these images are die cut, and there are so many. They're actually on two things here, but that will cut that little tree out. Those are some little ornaments that I used on another project recently. Here's this cute little tree. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to, we'll come back to these. These are all the ones we're going to use in a moment. And then... So that's why it looks like there's nothing on there. And then we've got these little babies right here too. So they've got a couple, aren't those trees? They're so cute, I haven't even used those yet, but they've got two of them. One's a little bit smaller, one's a little bit bigger, right? Here's some little tinsel for another tree. And then this can die cut that sentiment right there, right? And then I'm betting this cuts that out right there. And so you can cut some little stars too. So that's what we're not using on these awesome dies, which are again called the Christmas tree dies, okay? But we are using, yeah, I don't know. I think we're just gonna do two and two here because we've got all four of these dies that we need to cut. So here we go. Let's do, we're gonna do our flocking. I call it flocking. I don't know, whatever it is, right? Actually, we'll put it this way. Okay, so we're gonna die cut this one with our 
white velvet and then this one and this is the one that i was saying you can use that die right there to just cut out of the designer series paper too sorry it might get a little wiggly here for a sec we're just going to crank this and i'm actually going to go back through because i want to make sure with that detail on that white velvet paper i love when i can just pick the die up and like everything falls out okay so there's the one it's cute huh i love that little squiggly okay and then let's see yeah awesome so one little piece didn't come out, but love that. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Because he kind of got hidden behind the sentiment and the other trees. But isn't that awesome? And again, I don't know. You can't hear it. <laughs> I keep wanting you guys to hear it, but I don't think you can hear it. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I'm trying. Um, okay. So then we need our designer series paper and our silver foil. So we're going to cut our tree here, and then we're going to cut our tinsel on this one. I just have to kind of put it at an angle because I have just enough left on that little strip. Okay, and we're gonna go back and then go back through again too. Okay. Because that'll help that pop out a little bit easier, right? Okay, so there's this tree, which he's cute like that, right? But then you add the tinsel to him and he's like, amazing. Okay, so let's get these dies. Let's just get this stuff out of the way here. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can, can't you? Okay, let's see if it'll kind of come. So you might just have to be a little bit careful. It stays together pretty well, but just kind of pop all of this right out of there. Isn't that awesome? And all the little stitching on it there too. So cool, you guys. Love, 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 love it. Okay, so I think we are good. We're gonna scoot this baby out of the way and now we can put our card together. Okay, so let's grab our adhesive and all our little pieces. So we're gonna add our designer series paper to our basic white piece. You guys see how I'm kind of tipping back? Oh, finally! I know how to use my stamp and seal. That took a while. Okay, so run it and tip it back. Oops, and if it doesn't work, go back to where you were before. Run it, tip it back. Run it, tip it back. Run it, tip it back. So I must not be tipping back quite right on some occasions, but it sure beats having to advance it forward with your finger all the time. Yeah, I think that's gonna be all right. Okay, so now you definitely want to get your little silicone mat here to add your adhesive because this is going to go on this tree right here. <laughs> I know, I love that tinsel too, Philomena. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go along and you just kind of want to hold it down because all I really want to do, and maybe in the middle when I get down further, but I really want it on the edges. Okay, and then I'm going to flip this. But you really want to, <laughs> and then you just have to <laughs> get your finger off of it. Um, you really want to use your little silicone craft sheet here because otherwise you get adhesive all over your grid paper. And that is very annoying when you go to use it the next time. So what I have found, because it kind of pulls apart a little bit as you're putting adhesive on it, um, you kind of want to start at the bottom and lay it down. And so you might have to like, it's almost like a slinky. <laughs> so you might need to pull it or push it a little bit just to make sure. There, I think I got something stuck behind there. There we go. There, but see, so that was very simple. And I don't have, if you just use those little flicks, you don't get a bunch of adhesive, like instead of running it all up and down, just kind of do the edges. There. Okay, so now I have to remember to look here. I think I did put that on dimensionals. Not that one though. Okay, I was trying to remember. Okay, so that one, that one, that looks weird there now, doesn't it? Let me see the back of it. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals behind this one. Okay, I'm gonna use some minis on that one. And I think I'm just gonna go, I think I just did this side here. Oops, let's do a couple of mini dimensionals here and there right and then we just use adhesive on this one okay so let's add these babies on now okay 
I'm just going to pull the backs off the dimensionals. Okay, so that one is going to go about there. This one is going to go right about there. And then we're going to pull the dimensional backings off of this one. And yeah, I think it's going to be held down by the sentiment. I was trying to decide if I wanted to add any adhesive along here, but I don't think you need to do that. So then we can put that one right about there, right? Now we are going to just, and I'm gonna to try to run some adhesive right along where it says Merry Christmas. And I'm just going to, actually, I know what I did. I put a dimensional on this side you know how I can't, I don't like that when it's not even, like this one is popped up on a dimensional, but this one is not, so I added a dimensional here, oops, on this side. Mm, hopefully, now I'm like, did I put that over? I think I might need to move it over a little bit further. I'm gonna move it over there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this right about there. Yeah, and we're gonna get that thing cut right off, aren't we? Okay, now, basically just going to cut right along the card base. It's almost easier for me to do it, I don't know, always on the right hand side. There, so we'll just get rid of those babies. And then we're gonna add this to the inside. And that was the one that I didn't like, because I got that, my little ring around my stamp on the top there. Okay, so we've got to you and yours right there. And then what do we need? Let's do, let's make our little bow with, again, this is the Simply Elegant Trim. I think this is in the annual catalog if you're looking in your book. It's part of that elegant, maybe Simply Elegant, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> that suite of products. Um, but we're going to make a little bow here. Thank you. I'm glad you like this, Philomena. I loved kind of the soft, subtle, soft, subtle color combination here. All right, so we're gonna add a glue dot to our bow. Pop that right about there, okay. Then, lastly, we are going to use our little genial gems. Let me grab my scissors, actually. They tend to be a little bit easier to work with, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put one Gem. I'm going to do a big one there. I'm going to do a littler one. And these almost have like champagne behind them too. Now that I'm looking a little bit closer, right? And then we'll do one more little one. Kind of right over here. So there we go, ladies. Card number one. Merry Christmas. Again, featuring that whimsical trees. Well, the bundle. Actually, the Christmas tree dies more than anything in the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. Beautiful, huh? Okay, so there's our first one. Now, let me show you our next card. Also, again, featuring the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set. Thank you, Susie. I'm glad you like that one also. Okay, so here's another simple, fun, this is like a little bit more bright card, right? And I love, so we use the embossing, one of our embossing folders. There, we've got some of the little red rhinestones with the happiest holidays. And then I love this paper too, the um, that one is, let me pull it out here because I want to show you guys. It is the Gingerbread and Peppermint Designer Series paper. You've probably seen lots of cute projects. The really fun thing about this is all of these dies cut the images out in the stamp set too. So for example, in card class, we made cards that use the snowflake. So this snowflake we cut out actually, oh, I think I must have put it on the inside. I think I did remember. I had an extra one from class. And I'm like, oh, I have to use that. So I put it on the inside of the card there too. Yeah, so you can see this die right here or these ornaments. So we're going to cut that one out and put it right on there. And then that one is going to go on the inside, right? So those are all the same. And then I just have to show you this paper because I think it's so cute. So here, again, you've got some more ornaments and some bells, right? You can use those there. And then there are probably some stars in here too. And then the back is so cute also with those little peppermints, right? And the stripes. So lots of beautiful, there's a star right there that you can use with those dies also. We don't have, it doesn't look like there's one to cut out um, the little mitten, right? Or the tree. Oh, I wonder if the tree punch works with that. 
don't know if it does or not. Do we have a tree punch still? Oh, I love that paper too. That plaid right there. Love it, love it, love it. So many cute, like look at all these cute patterns. Love that one also. And those little, so cute, right? So love that paper. Love that you can just die cut things right out of it too. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Let me, <laughs> okay, get myself organized here. I'm gonna scoot these things over here. Keep our card out. So what are we gonna do? Let's do, actually, you know what? I think we can do our stamping in a sec. Let's just get to right to our die cutting and embossing and all that. I am gonna give you dimensions though, because if I get um, off onto making the card, I'll never do that. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so we start this time. This is an old olive card base. Okay, so along the 11 inch side, cut it at five and a half inches. Along the eight and a half inch side, scored at four, four and a quarter inches. And you guys know I always put all of the dimensions, colors, product codes, everything that you need to know to order and recreate any of these projects are on my blog. They'll be uploaded this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, this is a piece of real red cardstock that measures four inches. By five and a quarter inches and that's going to go right there we're going to emboss that on the inside we have the exact same piece four inches by five and a quarter inches basic white on the inside then our designer series paper with those little mittens right love that plaid also two inches by five and a quarter inches and that's going to go right there and then we're going to use this piece of designer series paper and cut these couple of guys out for our so we really did only a little bit of stamping with our sentiment that happiest holidays right there and I have a few strips of one inch wide cardstock, white cardstock, just to make sure I get that done properly. Okay, so we're gonna die cut this and we're gonna emboss our red piece. Okay, so let's do our die cutting since we're set up for that first. Okay, so here is our designer series paper. I'm gonna cut that one and I think that one. And where are my... Oh, am I crazy? Nope, they're right here. Okay, I'm not crazy. But again, so look at, you can cut with all the detail. So here's the bell with all the detail, and then you can do the outline. So you could just cut that piece out and put something behind it, or you can actually cut the bell out, if that makes sense, right? So again, you could just cut the detail and, and have it like, you could just cut it right out of the center here, and then whatever color you put behind that, behind this piece, would show behind all of that detail. Or you can use the piece that goes around it and cut it out too. But look at all these cute little pinwheels and things and that fun little detail. I'm gonna check that out. Oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be a beautiful border, wouldn't it? Okay, so we are gonna use these two. These are called the gingerbread dies, in case you need to know what those are. Okay, so we want that one right there and we're gonna do this one here. So the trick is gonna be keeping both of these in the exact same place without anything moving. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna do our best to hopefully make sure that they stay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we've got, you see how, like, look at how, and perfect. I did a good job, you guys. I'm very excited about that one, okay. And then how about this one? Oh, that one, we did well on that one also too. There's our snowflake. Okay, so now we have a couple more that we could cut out for our next card whenever we do that one. Okay, so now we are gonna get rid of these pieces and we're gonna do our embossing with, let's see, got that. So here is our embossing folder. So I feel like, yeah, I'm cheating. I have the wrong platform. I don't know where my, <laughs> the right one. I'm like, oh no, that says Big Shot on it. Anyway, it's wherever your other platform is. I don't know. <laughs> I get them all mixed up. I have too many of them these days. These are the wintry 3D embossing folders. So this one um, kind of has like some pine, hall, pine, pine bows, maybe I guess I'd say. And then this one has like the snowflakes on it. So isn't that cool? Okay. And you'll notice... We can't emboss the whole thing, which is fine because we're gonna put designer series paper down on it also. So you just need to kind of pop that in there like that. And this one goes on here. So we're gonna emboss that piece. I'm gonna show you because I think it's so pretty. 
You can see it. Isn't that so cool? Get all that detail on there. Yay. Okay, we are ready to kind of keep putting this card together now. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do? We can't, you know what? Let's do our stamping while I'm hopefully still, fe still feeling the mojo here. Okay, let's see. So we've got our happiest holidays. We're going to try it. That one might be too short. We're going to try it on this one. I got a couple of chances here. <laughs> if I need them, right? So let's see, I don't even know if that's right side up. Ooh, all right, I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going with it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, you just never know, especially on, on, on lives, right? You definitely just never know then. Okay, so we are going to add our adhesive to our designer series paper, and we're just gonna put this right down along the bottom, okay? Then we're gonna add it right here. Okay, put this, ooh, you know what I think I wanna do before I actually do that, I was thinking about that. We are going to put adhesive on the back of this thing because I wanna cut it off before I put it on the card. Okay, so we need this over there just a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed this card also. Okay, so we're going to put that down. I must have, I've been trying to figure out how I got ink all over, and now that's all smeared too. And it's not because um, this stamp smeared, it's because my finger, I wonder. Okay, all right. So just because that annoys me, we're going to try. We'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to do it again or not. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to clean that gotta get that red off so yeah it's just because I have it on my thumb right there and then when I used my thumb oh that's annoying because I know our ink dries really quickly okay so I don't know ladies I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it twice okay all right I'm very happy with that <laughs> it is always messy isn't it yeah and it's because it's always like all over the place too so okay I'm wiping it on my jeans. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So, yeah. It'd be hard for her to, her to hear anyway, but, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and then I'm going to do it upside down. That would be even worse, wouldn't it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, darn. Now I'm going to have to put it over further because I didn't stamp it. Okay. It's all right. We'll make this work. Okay. I kind of want my sentiment over that way a little bit further, but... That's all right. So my whole point was that I didn't, <laughs> I wanted this, I wanted to be able to cut this off. There we go. Okay, now we can add this. So you see what I mean? It would be hard to snip that off once you put it on this card base. So that was the whole point of what I was trying to do there. But, <laughs> you know, sometimes, ladies. Okay, putting this, just our basic white piece we're going to put on the inside. And then we're just gonna add our snow. Isn't that pretty? Do you guys like, maybe we'll do that one on the inside of this. Yeah, yeah, then it doesn't even matter if we had it right or not. That's pretty too, isn't it? Do we want to, I think we're gonna go up and down. I don't know, I always just try to decide, do I want it up and down or do I want it kind of cockeyed? We're gonna go up and down on that one. And then this thing almost like slid it away on me. Okay, come on, there we go. We are gonna put some dimensionals behind this ornament, and that's pretty too, isn't it? That side of the ornament, I think you could go either way, but I love how it cuts it out so perfectly there. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so we've got that one. I'm gonna put it down a little bit lower this time, okay? Then a couple last, you know, like the, always the finishing touches that make it so fun, right? We've got some of this real red. This is from, the pets, whatever that pet suite was that was from last year's annual catalog, but they carried over the ribbon, which is so fun because I like this ribbon, the little, oops, <laughs> that's still stuck on there. Did not realize that. Okay, trim that one down a little bit too. Okay, we are gonna use another glue dot to put our little bow on. Okay, there we go. And then last, but of course, not least, right, we have our red rhinestones. Let's see, I'm gonna flip it this way. 
And we're just gonna put a few of these, whatever, like inside our um, little snowflakes. That one there, and then one more we'll put right there. So it just adds a little bit of sparkle to our card also. So there we go, ladies. Happiest holidays, right? Aren't those so pretty? And I just love how well those are cut, right? How, how perfectly they are die cut with those fun dies. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. So just a quick recap. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed those cards. So don't forget, I would love, love, love for you to put an order in through me. Online, just make sure you use the host code, the PBXVDRC9. That will get you one of each of these cards sent to you as a thank you. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. And then don't forget, if you bump your order up to over $50, you get to pick from our Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Holiday Rhinestones, a full package, I promise. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a great weekend. Hopefully the colors are changing where you are. I know I'm super excited to get out um, on a drive this afternoon because I think the colors are going to be finally like changing just beautifully. So, okay, have a great weekend. We will see you guys um, on our next Facebook Live. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.